Hi, this is part two of how to make an epic trailer using stock photos. Today we're going to be looking at this shot of a falling train car. Here's a stock photo that I used to turn into a 3D image. It's got a nice vanishing point and also we got some windows here that I can mask out to create some nice background parallax. I've already gone through the process of doing this in the last tutorial, so I'll just speed through it. So here we are with our 3D version, with our 3D camera and separated walls and floor and ceiling. Let's square the ro rotation up by hitting parent, R for rotation, and line it up about like that. Oh, and I got to turn my floor on. There we go. The first thing I'm going to do is mask out the windows so that I can put in my own background and then the same thing with the other side. Okay, now that I masked all that out, uh, I can put in my own background layer. So let's find that. And we'll put that right at the bottom. And we're going to move that uh, back a little ways in 3D space. So we'll go up to my top view here. Throw it back there a ways. And then we'll scale it up a bit. And there we go. Okay, let's do some animating. We'll go into camera, press P for position. We're going to set a keyframe on the first frame and let's let's actually let's change the comp size to about five seconds trim comp okay we'll go to the end of the comp and let's just push in let's push the camera in a, in a little bit that's already looking pretty cool Having the windows open like that gives a really nice feeling of parallax, which I which I really like. Okay, so we'll set a keyframe right from the top of that. And we'll just rotate it a little bit. Just to make it feel like it's sort of falling. Something like that. Okay, let's mess up the equilibrium a little bit. And we'll go to the background layer. Yeah, let's change the, uh, the Y rotation. We'll keyframe that. And go to the end. And just have that move a little bit. Kind of like that. Let's see what that gives us. Yeah, let's move the position. We'll set a keyframe there. Go to the end. And we'll just move the whole thing down a little bit as the car falls into the city below. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's looking kind of out of control. 
Okay, so here's our streetcar falling, or a train car, whatever it is. So what I did here is I kept adding layers of dust to make it feel like the, the train car was sort of disintegrating as it fell. It's just a whole bunch of stuff, all kinds of uh, dust falling and dust waves. Uh, this is mostly stuff that came from Video Copilot. Uh, Action Essentials, I think it was. And more debris. So it's just a mess of stuff that's going on here. And I find that that really helps with the with the composite. And then we add my son in here. Who I green screen lying down on a couch, twisting around. And he's kind of falling through the scene. With his Lego contraption on his arm. <laughs> and then I just added an adjustment layer. I think that was just a tint. Let's see what I put on there. Yeah. I didn't do much in the way of adjustment layers. I basically just added a nice tint. And there you go. Let's look at the final one more time. So there you go. If you liked today's video, please uh, feel free to subscribe and tune in for part three next week where I'll be continuing this. And I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.